Okay, Steven, just wanted to give you a basic class on what's going on here. Uh, just got the, want to get that labeled in there. Okay, so uh, this is the basic principles of a four stroke cylinder engine, which is yours. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you when the blow by is coming into your motor, not uh, when it shouldn't. Okay, the thing with the valve seal leak from the, the oil valve seal, that's going to be on the intake stroke. <clears throat> and as you can see, the arrows, when it's been going when it's going down in the downward position that's called the intake stroke on the intake stroke while the piston's sucking in air and fuel and going down you'll see that yellow dot that's where your oil seal is at it's sucking in oil through there so that can suck in oil in here and contaminate all this stuff in here your spark plug your valves and all that the top of your piston heads but it will not go into your crankcase area and so, you know, highlighted it yellow so that you can see where where the seal would be. So, this is the only time that it can pull oil in through a seal. Now, on this example, on the compression stroke, you got both valves that are closed. The piston's going on the upstroke, as you can see with this arrow going up. And when it's compressing all this fuel and air, it's also squishing it down the, the size of those uh, uh, piston rings. The compression, the oil, the uh, expanders. So it's sending that pressure down into your oil pan going around, as you can see, we're following the arrow, and it takes it up into your valve cover area, and that's why you get a lot of blow by. And here you can also see that it's already at the up compression on the way down, and um, it still has a little bit of blow by because of the explosion that's happening in the cylinder. It's getting past the the, sil the piston rings, still filling up this crankcase area and sending it back up to the valve cover gasket. It cannot do it out the exhaust valve because on the way up, it's sending all those already burned gases out through the valve, which is open. So it, as it's coming out, that's why you're getting all that black sooty stuff in your exhaust system. So the only time that you can get blow by is on mainly on the compression stroke. Very little on the combustion stroke, but mainly on the compression stroke because it hasn't been burned yet. And um, so you can see in both these cylinders, this one and this one, these two valves are completely closed. That's why it's got nowhere else to go but down into the crankcase. When this valve is open, it'll suck oil through there uh, along with the air and the fuel. And this one is just sending everything out the tailpipe. So I just wanted to give you a, a roundabout uh, explanation on how I figured out that you got um, blow by in your crankcase because when I did the compression test, your two middle cylinders compression was really low compared to your two outer cylinders. So that's how I know that you got uh, leaking piston rings. And it's got 174,000 miles on it, so... I mean, it's to be expected. So there's your brief uh, description on what's going on with that. And the only way to take care of the blow-by that's here in the piston rings is you got to do an engine restore on it. Uh, restore the motor. Or uh, just switch it out to a different one. All right, Stephen, uh, that's the brief explanation. And uh, the fundamentals of uh, your intake, compression, combustion, and your exhaust strokes. So hope this kind of sinks in. Uh, there's other information out there if you want to get it a little bit more dialed in on uh, what all it consists of. But that was just a brief explanation. All right. Talk to you later. See you later, YouTube.